Hey eBay friends, it's time for another opposite of a haul video, things I've actually sold on eBay. And before I start, real quick, I just want to remind you guys that I will be in Florida on this route from December 11th to the 17th. And it just never fails whenever I go somewhere and do a, <laughs> a workshop or a presentation. Somebody comes up a couple of weeks later and says, oh, I didn't know you were coming. I wish I had known. So that's why I'm continuing to remind you guys that um, I'll be in this area. Um, here is the actual schedule. So if you want to just pause the video and read through this and see if you are going to be in any of these areas or in between, um, I can set up a small group or private consultation and we can get together and I can help you with your eBay business. So just wanted to give you a quick reminder that I will be doing this giant loop in Florida the week of December 11th through the 17th. If you are along this route or at any of these stops, please contact me. You can either leave a comment with your email or go to my website. Uh, Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com and we can figure it out. Okay, so back to things that I have actually sold on eBay. So this will be about a 30 minute video going over stuff that I have sold during my eBay career just to show you what's possible. Um, granted, most of these items are not super high dollar things, but what I'm trying to show you here is it's all about the cumulative effect of selling on eBay over time and being consistent and being dedicated to the process. You will make money, but those great big sales, you know, $400 for things, $700 for things, those just don't happen very often. When they do happen, it's wonderful. But um, most sellers earning their living on eBay are making the money on items less than $50. And it's just a consistent process where it's just rinse and repeat doing it over and over and over again. So this item let's see what this was it was an owl scrub top owls are still pretty popular this was probably posted back in 2014 and one thing I try to do with my business is find things that are repeatable that I can find again and again and again um, and make money on as well as learn what themes styles animals um, that kind of thing that is popular at the time. Um, so owls are still still pretty popular now and pink is a color that sells really well for me. Um, back when eBay used to provide us with reports showing what keywords people came on to our listings using, like if they'd search for something and it would hit our listings, you could see what the keywords were. It showed you what was doing right and pink and black were the two most popular colors that I consistently saw in my store reports. So just to let you know if you have to make a decision between colors pink and black are ones I would go with and for some reason it's backed me up way too far here. So let me go down and find my place again. I have like 700 pins on this board, so there's a lot to look at. If you're new, um, you can just follow me on Pinterest and you will see all of these items. Yes, I focus on clothing simply because it's easy to find, but you don't have to. If you don't like clothing, find something else. There's plenty of stuff out there you can sell. Okay, the next item is a Dana Buckman brand jacket. And <clears throat> I do recall that this one sold around Christmas time. It was a pretty green color. It was silk. And anything 100% silk is going to sell for more money than like polyester rayon because it's a uh, more expensive fabric and it takes a lot more time and effort to make it. 
silk actually comes from the cocoons that the silkworms make. Um, there's lots of videos about that out on YouTube if you're interested in that process, but it is very expensive. So that's one thing you want to look for. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store that actually does not exist anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, and it sold for $39.97. So um, yes, Dana Buckman is a Kohl's brand, but that doesn't mean you can't make money on it. A lot of Kohl's brands are, uh, they have a following. People know what size they wear. They like the brand. That's what they stick with. Um, there's a lot of brands I wear. Um, One World, Apartment 9, Dana Buckman. Um, so people know what they wear. They know what they like. And just because something isn't high dollar doesn't mean you can't make money on it. So this item in particular, a dollar, and I sold it for $39.97 plus shipping. So if you're not opening yourself up to all the possibilities, you're definitely leaving money on the table. Okay, here is a cross stitch item. And this one I got at a church sale for $3.00 and it sold for $29.97. This one did not have the glass on the front, so I like those kinds better because they're lighter to mail and it's less chance of breakage. So that may be something you want to offer in your listings for um, cross-stitch items um, that you will whoops, take out the glass. It'll make it lighter and less fragile and um, you can put that in your listing that you're willing to do that to reduce the shipping cost. Sometimes people want to reframe the item anyway, so they don't even care. So just make that as a option, you know, in your description area, say we're happy to take the item out of the frame and mail it to you on its own. And, you know, then the shipping is going to be a lot less. Okay, now here's another item that I still do, egg cartons. I save these and just have a stack of them saved um, in my laundry room and when I get a I think it's the 12 by 12 by 8 box full it's ready to be listed so these sold for $12.97 plus shipping and there were 15 of them so I've already figured out how many will fit in a box and I just fill it up as I use eggs and ship them out and of course these are going to be clean um, you're going to do that on purpose when you are using the eggs you're not going to put your dirty cracked shells back in the styrofoam container and then try to sell it you want to keep them clean but these are used for all kinds of things crafts uh, starting little um, plant starters in you know in each well a little bit of dirt with a little a seed seedlings um, or people that have backyard chickens you know all kinds of things so this is some trash you can save to sell on eBay okay let's see what the next item is here and this Pinterest board goes back to like 2013 when Pinterest started so <laughs> it's funny how like I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday but I can remember where I bought something four years ago and how much I paid for it even though it's on this board I can remember the exact purchasing of this item you know of a lot of these items and y'all are probably the same way so this is a brand called Eileen Fisher and it was a sweater with a beautiful long draped neck it was three dollars at a thrift store and I sold it for 35 so uh, it was pretty Christmas color. I think it sold around Christmas time. Merino wool is a high quality wool. It's um, I need to do a video on that to explain exactly what it is, but it's it's just a more expensive, higher quality wool that is used in a lot of things, not just sweaters. It's used in athletic wear, base layer type things, and it's um, expensive. So this was a good flip, three dollars, and sold it for thirty-five. So definitely not using the three times your investment rule. When I sell on eBay, I try to get a lot more than that. And let's see what we've got here. White House Black Market. That is a popular brand 
Um, it's what I call a mall brand like Ann Taylor, that kind of thing. This was $5.50 at Goodwill and it sold for $29.97. I really, it's more than I would normally pay, but I knew it would sell fast because of the design on the front and it had sheer sleeves and it did it sold pretty quickly. So that was a good flip buying at $5.50 and selling for $29.97. Okay, now we've got Chico's, another great brand that I always look for. This was a embroidered, embellished beaded jacket. I bought this for $7 at a thrift store and it sold for $54.97. So these denim jackets that are embellished, very popular, and they will sell for a lot of money because they are expensive new. Chico's, I will say, um, I don't pick up every single thing I see that's Chico's, but size 3 usually sells pretty fast, and if you find a size 4, which I've only found one in my eBay career, those will sell for a lot because they are only available online. Chico's does not carry size 4 in the stores. Okay, this is a free people sweater. Um, I bought this for two dollars at a thrift store and it sold for 35 and it was just a chunky cool looking v-neck sweater with big chunky buttons on the front purple um, you know just if you don't know free people that is a good brand that sells well and their heavy winter items are good sellers now just a word about seasonality on eBay I really want to encourage you to list anything that you have. It does not matter if it's not the season. Remember in Australia and other parts of the world their seasons are opposite from ours so just because it's one season here don't assume that nobody's gonna buy what you're selling because it's not the right season. So if you have unlisted items because you think they won't sell during the off season, I challenge you to list them anyway, or at least some of them, and see what happens. Because you will be shocked at what sells when it's not the season for that particular item where you live. I mean, it could be a season for that item somewhere else. Okay, I remember buying this coat. I bought this Victoria's Secret pink coat for $2, and it sold for $64.97 and it was a pretty plaid wool um, double-breasted coat with a hood that was had the faux fur on the hood um, just a really pretty item Whoops! and I believe it sold pretty quickly simply because it was Victoria's Secret pink that is a great brand to sell um, okay here we have another Eileen Fisher this was just a plain black cardigan and this was back when I was doing free shipping I stopped doing free shipping when eBay changed Cassini the search engine and it used to give you a boost in search when you had free shipping but they took that away when Cassini came on the scene and it did not it does no longer give you that boost in search now if you're doing fast and free that's different that's not just free shipping fast and free is when you have parameters on your listings that make the item be delivered in a certain amount of time so you have to have several criteria on that listing for it to qualify for fast and free but this is an old listing um, screenshot of an old listing probably from 2000 13 or 14 and that's why it's got the free shipping on it so anyway I got this for five dollars at Goodwill and it sold for $54.97 um, just a plain wool cardigan size large and what made it so expensive here is the brand Eileen Fisher so that brand is not selling for as much now as it used to probably because there's so much of it on eBay but it still can do well so you know check completed before you buy that item to resell just to see now here's a Nike 
tankini top. This is just the top to a bathing suit. And this was $2 at a thrift store and it sold for $24.97. You can sell bathing suit tops and bottoms separately. It does not have to be the whole set and they do sell very well that way. Um, I know very few women who can wear just like the same size top and bottom. It's usually mix and match and that's how the stores have gone to offering bathing suits is you buy the pieces separately um, and thank God for that because how many years has it gone that um, you're just stuck with whatever fits, um, you know, whatever they put together and hope it will fit and and most women are two different sizes on the top and bottom so this is a great way to sell swimwear to sell the pieces separately okay let's see what else lucky brand this is a good brand for me it usually sells pretty fast and when I say fast within three months um, if you're new to eBay you've got to give this time um, I talk to people all the time and they get discouraged that they've had some listings up for a month and nothing's happened well that's nothing <laughs> you've, you've got to give it time um, this is a business that takes patience and dedication and persistence and if you're in it for the long haul then you will see results but if you're coming to eBay for a quick fix of you need money really fast or um, you know maybe you've been uh, lost your job or something like that you know it may benefit you to get a part-time job and build your eBay business because it does take a while for this to snowball and take off so that you can rely on it for your income so I bought this at Goodwill for five dollars and it sold for thirty It was a lucky brand belted sweater extra large that always helps when it's a bigger size and it was pretty heavy so I also called it a sweater coat just um, you know to give that a little a better keyword on what this item actually was. Okay, let's see. The next item is here's Eddie Bauer. I look for this brand all the time because I can get it cheap. It's one of those brands like LL Bean or Lands End that just has a dedicated following. Uh, it's a well-known brand name clothing that is well constructed and it sells steadily I don't sell many of these pieces for a whole lot but this I bought for two dollars and it sold for twenty nine ninety seven and this was a three extra large and so that obviously helped the item sell because bigger sizes do sell better so um, when you make your money on eBay really you make your money when you buy so the cheaper you can get things the better and you really want to have a schedule set up you know it helps do it on paper of all the thrift stores you go to their discount days their color tag sale days um, if you're you can get the senior discount what day that is if you can get the military discount what day that is um, set up a chart um, and try to get stuff as cheap as you can because it's never a matter of if you can sell something on eBay. You can sell anything. It's how much money are you going to make when you sell it, um, which is one of these, one of the things that kind of irritates me about some of these haul videos. Um, they just show you what they're buying, but they don't say what it actually sold for. A lot of them don't come back and do the follow up. So, you know, it's never an issue of if you can sell something. It's what did you pay for it? What did it sell for? And how much money did you make? Because that's why we're doing this. We're doing this to maximize our profit. And if you're serious about your business, you want to do everything you can to fine tune it so that you're making as much money as possible on each item. Um, and then you don't have to work 12 hours a day trying to get all these listings up. If you can learn how to buy things cheaper, find brands that sell for more, or combinations of things like size, color, brand, um, to find things that sell for more money, um, then you can make more money on each sale because it takes just as long to list a $10 item as it does to list a $50 item. And that's what these videos are about. I'm trying to help you understand um, not just what to sell but also to learn how to get things cheaper so let's see what this item is uh, Columbia girls jacket two dollars at thrift store it sold for thirty four ninety seven so it's just a 
puffer jacket. Some people call this a puffy coat or a puffer jacket. And um, I think this even had a stain on it. And it's still sold for $34.97. Don't be afraid to sell the stained clothing or slightly damaged clothing because like in this case it was a girl's coat. Um, she may just the mom might have been buying it for her daughter and knowing she's going to play outside knowing it's going to get dirty um, and that's not really an issue because that was probably a hundred dollar coat that they got for thirty five dollars so they're still getting a bargain okay this was a Ralph Lauren equestrian blazer and I got this at two dollars at a thrift store and it sold for thirty and I put equestrian in the title because um, there's a big following out there in the equestrian world not just for riding but for going to events and wearing this type of garment um, I think it had a little faux belt on the back but um, that was not keyword spamming um, <laughs> just in case you're wondering if you google equestrian blazer equestrian apparel you'll find things for actual riding or for people who are just in that industry like the judges or people who go to events um, wear that type of clothing also all right let's see let me find something else that's interesting here okay mountain hardware this is a great brand to learn if you are not familiar with it and these were called um, monkey jackets because they're very fuzzy on the outside um, this had the nice zipper on the front for if you're running you can put your um, phone in there or you know if you're just out hiking or whatever it's got that nice front jacket uh, pocket there with a zipper to put whatever you want in there this was also two dollars and I sold it for forty dollars and um, this is easy to spot because it's got the fleece on the outside so those are mountain hardware monkey jackets and I think other brands make this type of coat now because again this was a couple years ago but I would definitely look for that now okay and let's go to this one <laughs> alright this was my son's um, for years and years he kind of didn't play with his Legos anymore when he got up to be a teenager but he still didn't want me to give them away or sell them so I kept them for him and then when he started driving it, you know he was ready to sell them because he wanted the money for gas and other things so I put all these together and it was six pounds unsorted of Lego and they sold for forty nine ninety seven, like almost in hours I mean it, they sold really fast so if you are getting into that world of selling Lego um, you can definitely sell them by the pound people buy them that way and actually I sorted out the minifigs I think yeah I sorted out the minifigs and did those separately because some people just want the minifigs and not all the bricks so there's an idea for you let's see what I've got here okay this is a brand of baby stuff um, I think it's pronounced Aiden and Ana but if I'm wrong please correct me this was just a swaddling cloth um, it was just a little blanket and I got this for a dollar and I sold it for 1997 and I I didn't even look this up in the store I just thought you know this looks interesting it feels different it looks high quality so I'm always on the lookout for this as well um, you know baby blankets can sell for a lot depending on the brand and you've got your loveys and all the different things so if you're not exploring the baby section that there's money in there that's another section you can learn um, and I know I need to make more videos about that it's just time to do it all okay here's a brand I wanted to um, show you also for Christmas and winter lands of Salzburg this is a high quality brand of sleepwear um, it's flannel it's very soft and this I got for three dollars sold for forty two ninety seven and I will do another video on these um, there is a very distinct and well-known Christmas pattern that 
this sleepwear sells in and I sell these nightgowns consistently for between 35 and 50 depending on the size so look for another video about that specifically where I'll show you the the garment label and everything so you can recognize it but um, sleepwear is an area where you can definitely make money I have a course on that um, it is in my clothing level two course if you go to my website it's all about sleepwear undergarments all these things that you are probably missing in the thrift store if you're just focusing on um, you know regular clothing that you know dresses sweaters pants skirts and you're not looking at undergarments and sleepwear you are missing out Okay, here are a pair of Crocs mammoths. Yes, Crocs are um, either you love them or you hate them. <laughs> but people do wear these for their job. My son is um, the cook at Panda Express over where we live, and he has been working there for three years. And he is six foot four, and um, he's on his feet all day. Um, he's a big guy and he wears Crocs to work <laughs> because they're comfortable and he's got to be on his feet all day so um, he doesn't wear the mammoth there's a work um, style that I think for food service there's an actual specific one in the Crocs but people do wear these and I guess if you know um, Mario Batali who is on the Food Network or was he always wore his orange Crocs so um, yeah, maybe they're not great for fashion, but people do wear them for comfort. I have another friend who has terrible foot problems. Her feet just hurt all the time. And unfortunately in her house, it's all wood floors. So she wears her Crocs in the, inside um, because the wood floors, floors hurt her feet. So anyway, these I got for $2 at a thrift store, sold for $29.97. Um, and just remember, just because they are not your favorite thing or you wouldn't wear them does not mean you can't sell them. Um, and I go over all of this in my shoe class where I explain um, sometimes the money is in comfort and not necessarily in style or, um, you know, high fashion stuff. It's in the the comfort shoes that maybe you wouldn't wear but other people would. All right, here's a great brand, Anthropology. It's a sub brand called Nick and Mo. This jacket I got for two dollars and it sold for thirty-five. Um, learning the Anthropology sub brands takes a lot of time, but it is totally worth it. So um, they do have a specific look to the tags so sometimes there's not even any words you just know it's anthropology because of the style of the tag and you can also tell from the RN number but this is one I always look for um, anthropology anything and I have sold several of these Nick and Mo jackets so this one is really pretty with the ruffles up the front and the ruffled collar so two dollars and sold for 35 alright let's find something else here um, here's another free people sweater. Free people is an anthropology sub brand. This I got for a dollar and it sold for $39.97. And yes, I remember the day I bought this because who could forget an orange sweater like this? Big chunky buttons. Their sweaters are really chunky and warm. And that's a good word to put in your title is chunky. People do search for that if it's a chunky sweater. So one dollar sold for thirty nine ninety seven. That is like the perfect eBay sale. Um, you've got high profit, well known brand, easy to sell. Love that. All right, so let's talk about SAS Tripad. I remember just in my last Money Making Monday video, we talked about these a little bit. Here's a pair I sold. I got them for two dollars and sold them for thirty five, and. Um, yes ugly sells you know a lot of people think oh these shoes are so ugly I don't even want them in my house well then that's fine but you're leaving money on the table if you don't if you are icked out by shoes then wear gloves when you're shopping for them put them in a separate bag when you get home leave them in the garage or whatever clean them up out there and then bring them in but there is a lot of money to be made in comfort shoes so if you're not exploring that niche 
you should really at least try it because sometimes <laughs> the amount of money you make overrides the ick factor of things and it may not be as bad as you think. Okay, here's another one that was my son's. Same, same situation with the Lego. Lincoln Logs. This was 324 pieces, mixed lot. I just laid them all out like that and they sold for $44.97 plus shipping and I've got down here um, $10 simply because I have sold them again and again <laughs> and usually they are around $10 at garage sales so um, you know that's a good flip but it was, this one was even better because it was free it was my son's and he finally let go of it when um, he was driving and he needed some extra money Okay, here is a pair of Merrill shoes. These are called Barado. And again, a comfort shoe that are not super glamorous looking. These I got for $2 at a church sale and sold for $28.97. So I just, I like doing clothes and shoes because they're just so easy to find. Some people hate it and that's fine. You don't have to like it, but I enjoy it. So this must be the phase where I was cleaning all of Mitchell's stuff out because here's another one of his items. This was his Lego Knight's Kingdom set. Um, we sold that for 50 I remember buying this for him one Christmas and I had to go all over the place to find this thing. I think it was about $100 and that was his big, pretty much his whole Christmas was this Lego set. And I think he was like 10 maybe and he built it in one day and he was done <laughs> I just couldn't believe how fast he built this thing it was huge but um, that made him happy so we hung on to it for a while and then finally sold it for fifty dollars so if if you've got kids that do Lego save those boxes and save those instruction manuals also you can sell the instruction manuals on their own so if you find those at thrift stores or garage sales, just the manuals, you can sell those. Uh, so check that out on eBay. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll wrap this up. Here is a good brand. This is called Vince. I do have a video on this brand, so you can check that out. Put the link at the top there for you. This was a... Is it going to load? I'm sorry, that's fuzzy. Um, let me try that again. Vince cardigan sweater, medium wool gray, open front ribbed. And I got this for $2 at a thrift store, and it sold for $55. So, um, again, the purpose of this video is to help educate you on what is out there, what will sell, what I have sold things for, and to try to help you get your profit per item higher so that you can make more careful decisions when buying inventory because it's really not about how much you can buy and how fast you can list. It's about the way I run my business is about quality. Um, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I mean, I love this business. I love putting clothes on a mannequin and making it look nice and putting something up for sale and describing it. I'm a writer, so I love that part. Um, I also love when a buyer gets something and they're happy and it's something they couldn't find or something they've been looking for or it works out perfectly. You know, I just love the whole process. And so that's why you know I'm trying to connect with you guys out there that are trying to build this business because um, there's just nothing better than building a business you love and being able to work on it every day it's so satisfying and fulfilling and I've worked enough crap jobs in my life <laughs> to, to realize this is this is just such a blessing to be able to have eBay um, let's see what were some of the crap jobs I worked I worked at Kroger in the seafood department when I was in college and I mean, I, I worked there instead of a cashier because I got paid more. So I was back there with all guys, and I'm like a little five foot two person back there slinging fish around and um, 
staking salmons and, and salmon and you know making these huge pots of soup for people to sample and it was heavy work it was hard work it was stinky work I used to have to go home and you know wash myself in tomato juice to get the fish smell off but um, that was a crap job um, and then I worked at the bank which I really enjoyed but the problem with that was I was young and inexperienced and took everything personally and um, you know I would come home crying just because people yelled at me you know I bounced their checks and this was my policy that we couldn't do such and such and that was hard because you didn't have that time and space like you do with an internet business to stop and collect your thoughts and figure out what you're gonna say and handle a crisis for someone you've got them standing in front of you right there yelling at you and when there's problems with people's money they they don't hold back they go full bore and they get upset so um, that was you know I learned a lot in that job but that's why I appreciate an internet business is because you have that time and space to step away from it ask for help from someone else collect yourself and then respond to the buyer so um, I've had other crap jobs but <laughs> I think we all have um, I've done lots of babysitting even as an adult taking care of other people's kids which is not great because um, you know they're they're other people's kids it's different when your own it's your own child but um, you know I've done that some just to be able to be a stay-at-home mom I tried telemarketing I, that lasted one day I hated that job it was just I felt like I was invading people's space calling them and disturbing them and you know trying to sell them something they had absolutely no interest in um, which again is why I love eBay because you put something out there and someone comes to you and says oh I want to buy this you have something that's perfect for me I want to buy this and they want to give you their money and that's just perfect so anyway I, I hope I'm helping you build a business you love because this is absolutely attainable for anyone eBay is um, there's no barriers to entry anybody can do it and it's just a matter of coming up with what you want to do how you want to run your business and enjoying what you're doing learn to sell things you like working with um, just because something sells for a lot of money doesn't mean you're going to enjoy it I know car parts sell for a lot of money but I don't want to do that I would hate that so sorry to ramble on there um, but I would love to hear your thoughts about building a business you love you know what are you having trouble with um, your eBay business how can I help you with more videos um, reach out and let me know how I can help you thanks for watching have a great day on eBay bye